I think that one of the areas you're going to see a lot of work coming out in the near term is on cancer. Cancer vaccines, I think, have a huge future because you can detect those cells that are just starting to emerge that are cancerous, let your immune system clear them out. So what kind of work is being done right now on cancer vaccines? Oh, a lot. A lot of how work. Does that, how would, was it an mRNA platform? They're looking, like, well, that's you know how mRNA has got all their initial research effort was for cancer vaccines. Mm. Was That's how the first real efforts were put into place by the NIH on these vaccines. And I think that one of the things, particularly for people who have specific risk factors, you know, genetically, they're predisposed to breast cancer, they're predisposed to these things. If you could pick up certain changes in the cells that indicate this is a precancerous cell or an early cancer cell, imagine if you had a specific, you know, kind of police officer in your body that could help identify that and take it out. So a general immune system response is not enough. It has to be a specific immune system response for something that you're looking for. Like to make it most effective. Right. Make it most yeah. Effective. Um, when you look at um, these uh, cancer uh, vaccines, how far off are they from being deployed? Well, it's not somebody in the cancer area, but only familiar with the work is going on. Uh, you know, from my colleagues in the cancer side of the house, they seem, you know, it's still early, but it surely has a potential future.